Yesterday I tried the nice wig with the bangs. Today I'm gonna do a full installation of the other wig, the lace front wig. I'm watching a tutorial on how to do it though. This is not a tutorial, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover. It's very loud right now between like I have a pedicure thing going on in their show. Uh, so we're just gonna do a voiceover. Definitely not a tutorial, but I'm gonna try to apply it. Based on my last vlog, I know the fan favorite was the wig with the bangs, but I do wanna get used to installing wigs. So I just took my natural hair and threw it back for now in a small bun and applied the wig cap. I'm going to take a little bit of the got to be gel glue and I'm going to use this to slick back all my baby hairs just to protect my hair from any of the hairspray and gel that we're going to use. Once the hair gel was dried with a hair dryer, I pulled the ball cap down and then I used the got to be glued hairspray and just going over my hairline and kind of pushing the glue down. When I install another wig cap, I've learned from this first process that I definitely want to glue the cap further onto my skin than my actual hair. I think taking off the wig cap would be a lot less painful. The wig cap had the hardest time staying put around my ears, so I really went over it three or four different times with layers of hairspray, making sure to dry in between the layers, but I severely underestimated how strong this hairspray actually was when it set, so learn from my lesson and maybe use not so much. I wasn't thinking clearly in this next part. All I had was these little brow scissors, but I was so scared the entire time that I was going to end up nicking my forehead. So I really, really, really went slow and took my time with this. However, going back and watching more wig installation videos, I saw that a lot of the girls were using the little face trimmers. I ended up doing that a second time off camera and I gotta say installing the wig cap the second time that way was a lot easier and I was able to get a lot closer to my hairline than I could with these little scissors. Once the excess lace was trimmed off, I just went back in with a little bit of gel and hairspray and just really pushed these edges down. I don't have a headband to help melt the lace into the skin, so I did my best with the back of the razor and a hair dryer and try to get it as smooth as possible. So since I want to apply a little bit of makeup, the edges are not perfect, okay? It's not perfect. It should work though. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, don't even look up this side. This side's better than the other side. But anyways, I need to put on some makeup to make the wig cap match a little better before I put on my wig. So I'm gonna do a full face of makeup. I'm just doing on camera makeup though. I did grab these eyelashes for the corners of my eyes. Hi baby. When I'm just doing like the on camera makeup and not full glam. So we're gonna try these for the first time today. They're just corner lashes nothing crazy but i'll be back once the cap was installed it was time to install the wig so i got it placed on my head and made sure it was as centered as i could then i used the pointy end of the back of my comb to separate out some of the front pieces and right where the lace lays on my head i'm going to use my hairspray and spray there doing this i'm telling you made this wig last it was not easy taking it off and lastly, for some even extra security, I'm brushing all of the hair back that is framing my face. And again, just going in with hairspray, using my fingers to smooth it out and just going back in with the hair dryer to make sure everything is set in place. Like three hours later, but I think I did it. So I was just gluing down like the seams. There's a lot I learned from doing this um, that I would do differently the second time around, but Maybe I can show you guys better upstairs. Don't get me wrong. I thought it was really pretty. I really did. I really wanted it to work. And this is why I put in, put in some effort to try to make it uh, work a little bit better for my preference. The only thing, literally the only thing throwing me off about this wig was the center part. And I thought there wasn't a whole lot that I could do about it because I showed in a either a previous vlog or earlier in this vlog how when I parted it you could see all these like tracks and stuff however if you part it just a little bit there's still like that um, uh, 
I wanted to say skull line, but that doesn't sound right. Hairline, like you can see the part. What the hell am I trying to think? I can't, th I can't muster up the word at the moment. I know when I'm editing it, it's going to come back to me and frustrate me. But regardless, I parted it a little bit to the side. It's like, <laughs> it's so funny how half an inch can make me feel from like zero to a 10. Um, I feel a thousand times better. I feel a thousand times better. It's just that 90s baby in me. I can't get rid of the middle part, I, uh, side part. I just think my face, I just think my features suit a side part better. You know what was throwing me off really bad about the middle part? It wasn't even necessarily the middle part. It was how much it made my nose stick out to me. Um, I've always known my nose is kind of bulky. I was made fun of it a lot through high school. Um, it's a little bit crooked. Long story from when I was born, but I never really considered rhinoplasty or anything. Like that was like way, 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 way down on my, like I don't even think I'd ever get it done sort of thing. Um, but when I had the middle part, when I had the middle part, all I could do was stare at my nose. It was kind of like an arrow pointed at the center of my face. And I think that's what throws me off so much. So I think that this <laughs> literally, y'all, I'm sorry, I had to check my nose is crooked this way, like this way. So maybe it's because I part my hair this way. It gives this face more bulk because this one's off center. I don't know. I probably look exactly the same, but I feel a thousand times better. Um, so this is fully installed. It's not perfect by any means. It was my first install, but for my first install, that video I watched, I'm going to link her down below. She was so thorough and so helpful in like 20 minutes. Like she didn't ramble on and on like I'm doing right now. Um, she, she was really amazing and I followed her entirely to get this installed. Okay, let's not talk about the edges by my ears yet. Again, they're a little crusty. They're down, but they're a little crusty. Um, I definitely need to work on my install um, technique. It's only going to get better with practice, obviously. But I am just at that point where I am done not having my hair grow. I am done. I'm forcing it to grow. Like on my body i'm gonna tell you what to do um <laughs> but for the time being i am happy about this wig it's definitely a wig that i can use on a daily basis for all my auditions but the cool thing is that i do have the other one if i just i feel like if i'm going for a night out and just kind of want to change up my look again i can do that in two seconds flat i like it i don't yeah, i'm literally in the bathroom i was just editing my vlog and i realized that i cut from me installing my wig to then ship shopping with my GoPro. I don't know if like I, I lost a, a foot, I don't know if I lost foot, it's a baby thing. I don't know if I lost footage or something, but it just, there's like a random cut from me installing wigs to vlogging or ship shopping. So I'm going to try to use my, I'm gonna try to use my GoPro a little bit throughout my vlogging because the camera that I usually use, which is right now, the speaker is a little bit messed up and I noticed that in some of my vlogs. So I'm gonna try the GoPro a little bit. So the rest of this vlog will be GoPro. Let me know what you guys think. I think next vlog will also be a little bit of GoPro. So I think we're gonna go back and forth a little bit, but just for a little context, you're welcome. So they did not have the black leggings she was looking for. I found a another option, but she just wants a substitute, I mean a refund. We're going over to grocery right now. Um, I only need three more things on this order and then we're done.
was an accident right where I have to turn. How did... Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? This town. This town. It... I mean, I, I feel like a lot of people say that about their town, but I'm not kidding. I am on the road five to six days a week. This town is so bad at driving. Someone got rear-ended. This guy's... Well, you're already halfway out, buddy. If I keep going, I'm just gonna rear-end. Oh, and the front of your car is busted. We're just gonna... But this is exactly why I was saying bring my GoPro out. Because I don't want to hear that I'm not wearing my seatbelt or that it... Like, God forbid I get into an accident. I am very cautious of everyone around me. I am assuming everyone is gonna hit me. Every single one of you is gonna hit me. That I have to assume because it's, it, it literally, it, everyone's gonna hit you. Like, it, it's scary. Okay, this one has my baby formula and wipes. Plate, half a sauce formula. I'm gonna have to go around and grab the baby wipes, but. Also, I haven't even checked if there's like an incentive going on today. I don't think so. Um, sorry. All right, look, my next one is. 15 minutes away.